As depicted in the film Real Steel, that there is an exhibition of actual robots where people can bring their robots and other new technologies and show them off, and that's what happened in real life. Recently, the International Robot Exhibition, or IREX, took place in Japan, and many new and innovative technologies and robots were introduced as part of that exhibition. So in today's video, we're going to talk about some of those new robots and gadgets that were shown in that exhibition, so make sure to watch the video till the end. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. With that being said, let's get into it. IREX is one of the largest robot trade shows in the world, showcasing the newest robot technologies as well as new products, providing top manufacturers and companies worldwide a unique opportunity to exchange business insights and establish new relationships. It was a great success that the IREX 2022 was concluded successfully. This four-day event from March 9 to 12 in Tokyo provided over 62,000 visitors with a close-up experience with more than 600 companies and organizations from all over the world. Robots combined with the ever-evolving robot technologies are indispensable for industrial automation. Upholding the theme of the way towards a friendlier society bridged by robots, IREX 2022 offered space for more than 3,000 booths to showcase the ongoing robot technologies and the latest trends in robotic automation. And among all the robot technologies and products shown at various booths, the AI plus 3D vision guided robot attracted the most visitors on site, making MechMind Robotic one of the most popular exhibitors at IREX 2022. Its AI plus 3D vision guided bin picking solution was extremely eye-catching as the vision guided robots could handle the most challenging object in the way of outstanding flexibility, excellent stability, and fast cycle time. Meanwhile, MechMind, which shared one of the largest booths at IREX 2022, also exhibited its flagship product, MechEye Industrial 3D Cameras, and its all-in-one industrial solutions, including mixed case palletizing, parcel induction, high precision measurement, defect detection, etc. And its innovative solutions have been deployed at thousands of factories and warehouses in logistics, manufacturing, the food industry, and more. Moreover, the Japanese giant company Kawasaki has shown some new robots at the IREX 2022. The Kawasaki robots at the fair were a four-legged Ibex robot and a human robot with four legs called Bex. This robot, the RHP Kalido, has been developed as a result of the same development program as Bex. The RHP Kalido is 179 centimeters long, weighs 83 kg, and has a lifting capacity of 60 kg. This robot was designed with the idea that it could be used to assist workers at construction sites, among other things. There is a video clip available in which you can see what it would look like if RHP Kalido was to build scaffolding, among other things. In addition, Kawasaki also presented Naoki at IREX 2022 as another humanoid robot. Despite the fact that the robot is still a prototype, Fujita Medical University Hospital has already begun testing it, and the robot is already delivering medicine and various samples to the patients. In this video, Naoki is used in combination with a self-propelled delivery robot that is also manufactured by Kawasaki. Kawasaki Heavy Industries has plenty of experience mass-producing industrial robots, and now we get to see some of its early progress into service robots, multi-purpose humanoids, and for some reason, a very silly-looking ride-on robot Ibex. Apart from Kawasaki, Yamaha also showed a couple of really impressive robots at this year's event. At Yamaha's exhibition, the exhibition concept was Micron to Kilometers Robotics Transportation and using concepts and technologies that are unique to Yamaha Motor, which has a wealth of experience in the robotics and mobility businesses. The company has offered a new style of next-generation transportation that connect linear conveyor models, small AGVs, as well as automatic transportation solutions for both indoor and outdoor environments. Yamaha also focuses on transporting goods, which is a necessary and frequently required part of smart manufacturing. It's trying to add value by adding functions to and connecting transportation, which used to not directly contribute to production. That's why the company displayed a transport platform that was able to dramatically increase line productivity. For the first time at the International Robot Exhibition, a demo machine that helps eliminate bottlenecks by branching production lines and overtaking processes with the newly developed LCMR200 Traverse unit, will be showcased for the very first time. Additionally, the company demonstrated the implementation of a non-contact power supply that utilizes linear transfer principles as well as its application in combination with a line scan camera as a demonstration machine. Along with that, they also displayed a robotic picking system that will contribute to labor saving in kitting work by dividing multiple types of bolts into small lots that are easier to handle. A number of highly accurate picking jobs and management tasks can be performed immediately with image analysis technology without the need to use program settings and even CAD data. In addition, they showed a transport robot that connected multiple production lines with its ability to adapt smoothly to the automation at the production site. This machine will be an important step in leading the next generation of FA. In addition to its free movement, this is a high-performance autonomous mobile robot equipped with stopping accuracy, which enables it to deliver a load on a conveyor belt with accuracy. Last but not least, 
They showed an automatic guided vehicle under the concepts of simple, smart, strong. It is just as simple as putting a piece of vinyl tape on the running route. This does not require the installation of buried rails or programs such as mapping to be carried out. Due to its ability to adapt to tough environments that conventional AGVs are not good at, that's why it is also used at our casting sites that use casting sand. It is worth noting that aside from all these big giants, there was another robot that was kind of crazy, and that was Adafruit's Circuit Playground. Adafruit's Circuit Playground is a colorful collection of LEDs, sensors, buttons, alligator clip pads, and much more. Using Circuit Playground, you can build projects in just a few minutes using the drag-and-drop MakeCode programming site. Learn computer science using the CS Discoveries class on Code.org, jump into CircuitPython to learn Python and hardware together, TinyGo, or even use the Arduino IDE. The Circuit Playground Express is the newest and best of the Circuit Playground boards and has support for CircuitPython, MakeCode, and Arduino. Among its features are a powerful processor, 10 NeoPixels, a mini speaker, infrared receiver and transmitter, two buttons, a switch, and 14 alligator clip pads as well as a number of sensors, such as capacitative, touch, infrared proximity, temperature, light, motion, and so on. The company said that you will have a whole wide world of electronics and coding at your disposal and that it fits in the palm of your hand. Moreover, Mujin, a Japanese company, displayed eight automation solutions including 21 intelligent robots and AGVs for factory automation and logistics automatization as well. The company exhibited a next-generation intelligent robot cell production system connected by automated guided vehicles for factory automation as well as the new functions of its Mujin robot series for logistics. The company's representative stated that we have developed intelligent robot solutions mainly for logistics by combining robots called Mujin controllers, Mujin visions, and Mujin grippers with intelligent machine technology. The company has been able to offer not only intelligent robots, but also total solutions that combine multiple robots and AGVs in order to provide automation in situations that require complexity and flexibility, especially in the past two years. Our newest solution of intelligent robot plus AGV that enables flexible automation has recently become increasingly popular not only for logistics, but for many industries as well. It's accelerating the shift to flexible intelligent robot cell systems that integrate robots and AGVs instead of dedicated line facilities for mass production. Using its logistics experience in manufacturing, we created a new intelligent robot cell production system that combines robots and auto-guided vehicles in factories. In the same way that these businesses were represented in the exhibition, there were hundreds of enthusiasts as well. There were many innovations and technology exhibited at the entire exhibition that made one wonder what type of a future we might have. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Tell us in the comments which robot you like the most in these. And we hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And catch you in the next video. Until then, peace.